Good afternoon, my name is Jess Celia Smith Riley and I'm here today to tell you all about my makeup, what is inside my makeup bag, okay? Well, to start off, let's talk about the actual makeup bags. Because I have two right now. When I first started wearing makeup when I was younger, you know, you don't really get a lot of makeup when you're a little girl. You kind of just get a little here and a little there as a young teen or whatever. This is the makeup bag that my mom got for me when she went shopping with my cousin at the mall somewhere in Pearland, Houston, something like that. Um, you know, big city. So, it's a little Victoria's Secret bag. Um, all I needed in this was, all I had in it really was a lipstick, a lip gloss, you know, you know how they're shaped. A lipstick, a lip gloss, a little chapstick, and some mascara. That's basically it in this bag. Now, later on, when I decided, you know what, I like makeup, I'm going to start doing a little bit more. I'm going to try to do some one of a more full look. I got me a bigger makeup bag so I could put wipes in it, makeup wipes and all that. You know, this is the bag that I got. from. I got this from Walmart. Excuse me. In Lake Jackson. Um, I got it from there. And it's Walmart. This makeup bag cost about... 1088 so you know a little bit more um yeah it fits just about everything i need in here for right now this is i moved up to this size i'm you know i guess i'm moving up more and more but the thing is i'm not really that big of a makeup fan in general even though now you know and you know better situation where i can do more stuff get some more stuff blessingly thank god i'm not that big of a makeup fan so i just get what i need kind of just get it all together and i just call it a day you know, um, it's plastic in it. It's a pink inside, but inside the pink inside, it has some. Um, the name of it is, it has a little name tag too on it, you know, that. Okay, so inside it has a glass in here, um, a little mirror. I haven't taken, took it off the plastic of it yet because I really don't need it. This mirror is too small for me personally. Honestly, I just keep it and. Yes, my makeup bag is a little bit, a little touched up when it comes on the inside. A little messy, messy, messy looking. Not gross, but a little messy looking. Reason why is because, you know, sometimes you'll have a makeup pencil or something, you know, in here. And you may lose a cap or something. And it goes, you know, haywire in here. Sometimes you have a little bit of pencil shavings in here, you know. And it'll go in there, too. That's basically it. I clean up my bag occasionally, but, you know, it's not the best material in the world, so getting out stains really is a really the easiest thing to do without messing up the bag. That's what's wrong. So if you see a few makeup products later on that look a little bit, like, discolored, it's because, you know, stuff kind of parties in here, you know. This is the makeup bag. That is. Now it's time to show you the actual makeup in the makeup bag. So the first product that I have over here that I'm going to go ahead and show to you, there's not a really a particular order, um, is this um, mascara. It is Great Lash, made in New York, so y'all know it. Um, I usually used to put this back in this bag when I was back in the day. I had this and a few other products, and that was my thing. Next product I have is my eyebrows product, my little eyebrows, I have a few of them. This color is a little too white, I have a black, black is just too dark by the time I finish it, so I kind of mix them, and I brush it in real good, that's the key, you gotta brush it, you gotta shape it up, you gotta brush it, you know, and it comes with a little pencil sharpener on it, so that's really cool, because sometimes my pencil sharpener I use on the regular can get lost, because it's small too, and kind of get around in there. So it's nice that it has its own little pencil sharpener. So when this goes away, I'll probably still keep it. <laughs> just in case. And I'll just put on another one. I'll keep it to the side. Um, the color of this, this is Broadway's brand. Um, it's like a brown, basically. I think it was like something, cappuccino, cap, something with the C, I think. Um, this is the one that I like to use. This is a dark, deep brown. This one is a good color. Um, I got this more recently for an eyebrow pencil. It's an oil kind of-ish eyebrow pencil. This is Rimmel London. I've been really feeling this brand. It is decent moving up price range, but it's really nice. Um, it is, yeah, basically a dark brown. Um, the name of it is 
literally dark brown. So, <laughs> yeah, and it comes with a brush like this. This one's kind of nice and smoothing when you're brushing your hair. Another little story about these is too, when I don't feel like doing a full-fledged eyebrow look, whether it's the blending one or even the other color and stuff like that, you know what I really do? Let me tell y'all a little something. When I really don't feel like doing a full-fledged eyebrow. What I do is I get the pencil in, you know, of the one like this. I shape up my eyebrows like I'm going to do a full look. I comb through them first, get them nice and combed and everything. And then I sh shape them up like I'm going to do a full-fledged eyebrow look. And then what I do is I get a little bit of this either edge control that I'll use for my hair, you know, in the head, and, or I'll use this one. This one's the one I use most times. It's an olive oil two-in-one styling defining cream gel. I'll use that and I'll just put on the cream gel in the direction that I shaped up my eyebrows. That's what I use. That's what I did today. When I don't feel like doing a full fledge, but you still want something, this is a has oil in it. It's somewhat natural, you know what I mean? So it's a little oil. It makes them look a little darker, so a little bit like that, but not a full fledge look. You know, full fledge makeup day. So I like it. Um, I got some brushes. I guess the next thing I'll talk about is this bronzer. I use this. I'm not going to lie. I use this so much. It's nice. This brand is the. Um, bronze booster it's light to medium i kind of want to try um if see if there's a medium to dark yeah it's a baked bronzer got from walmart probably like seven dollars really affordable i'm not an expensive makeup person y'all um i have i think this is a lip liner you know it's a nice little um like almost a cinnamonish kind of purplish color um another one of those I have an eyeliner that's kind of more creamy. I have an eyeliner that's like straight liquid, and I have a pencil eyeliner, basically. So those are what I have. Black. They're all black. Now there is. I heard there is eyeliner. I see this one girl I used to talk to. She had an eyeliner in like colors, like blue and stuff. And I was like, that's cool. If I get more better in makeup, I will do it. Mm, more better. Excuse me. If I get better. Like, if I start to really get into makeup more, I will try to do color ones. But for right now, eyeliner is probably one of the hardest things to do for me when it comes to makeup by far is eyeliner. So I'm, let me get it right before I try to do a blue mess. <laughs> um, I have a few makeup brushes. I will really, literally use this one, especially if I have more of a thin something, if I have a thinner product, I like to use this, like a powder or not a, I don't have a bake yet. I don't have a bake yet. I need to get some eventually. I'll use this for the thinner one. It helps kind of stay in there and it coats, you know. This is one that I use actually for my eye. I got it and it actually, I edited, edited. <laughs> um, this one I got from a girl at work. Shout out to Danny. Um, this one um, was shaped different, but I kind of cut it up a little bit. So I, so I can do that like pretty well, like pretty well in the eye. So yeah, these, the brand of these is Wet n Wild. Y'all, I'm a cheaper brand person. I don't like to spend a lot on makeup brands that I will get basically is Maybelline, LA Colors, Wet n Wild, um, yeah, um, LAC. So basically I'm like those. And then if I feel like I'm really special today, I'll get a L'Oreal, L'Oreal when that's on sale. And then I got a Rimmel London or another one. So I have a nice seven. Um, I'll get this Bobbi Brown. That's what I get the foundation in. Still not horribly expensive compared to a lot of things I've seen. I wanted to get Nairs, I think it's called Nails. I really want to get their foundation. But I've seen their price tag and I was like, ah, maybe one day. I will try. I'm thinking about trying bare minerals. I keep on seeing commercial bare minerals. I may consider getting it. Just try, you know. But really, I'm not that big of a fan of makeup. I'm not against getting expensive makeup, but I'm not big enough fan. Let's see. Next, I have eyeshadows. This is a simple eyeshadow. It's made for homecoming. Spiked. Then, but I changed my mind. Let's see. Next, I have another simple eyeshadow that I use, which is, um, this is one thing about, that is really nice about 
getting cheaper makeups, you know, sometimes. There's good ones, there's good products, and there's complete duds that kind of suck. This is a very excellent product. I got this. It's LAC eyeshadow, and it's very good. It's very, it's lovely to use. This is kind of a darker purplish, and then you got white. Um, I never need, I, excuse me, I don't really need to use white, to be honest. I, I don't really find a purpose to use it. I just don't know how to that well, so I just ignore it. But it's pretty. Um, I like this light one because when you use this light one, it's almost like you're just doing a simple glitter by itself. I like that about that. I crack it, so excuse me. <laughs> Let's see. Now this has gotten nice. This is a nice brand that I like to use that is a little bit more on the pricey side for me. It is the Roma London. Got this from Kroger's. I got this from Kroger's. You can do a nice smoky eye with this. You can do nice, almost like an ombre effect with it. You can do a nice just glitter. You know, this looks real nice. You know, almost like a contrast with just the matte, matte like foundation look. It's nice. I like it for several reasons. And it comes with a pencil too. Let me show you. That's kind of cool about this too. I like it comes with this side, like the other one that I have, but it comes with a little brush side, a little kind of like, let's see if I can show you the brush a little better. Mm, I guess that's a little better. <laughs> so there you go, there's the brush side. Now, excuse me, I'm trying to open it back up and kind of like look in the camera. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> I just let that go all the way across the keys. Excuse me, excuse me, okay. Yeah, so there you go with that. Um, now, when you start your makeup look, I already said, I already said, excuse me about this. When you start your makeup look, I like to clean my face. I like to clean my face with as hot water as you can possibly get without burning yourself. Clean it off. Get your pores all open and everything. Wait a few minutes, kind of cool on down on the face. And then I like to put primer on, kind of open up the pores. Um, put a little bit, not a lot. I literally go like this. Drop, drop, and then somewhere else, you know, on the face, maybe the chin. Sometimes I feel like, I don't know. You know, and I just put it on like that. And I got a little nice minimum shine just to start off the makeup. You know, they have primer. My best friend was telling me they have a, um, a combination between primer and finishing, like the finishing spray, but they do a combo one too. Um, this is Wet n Wild. I don't know if Wet n Wild themselves use it they do that but other brands do now i already told you about wins when it comes to cheap makeup but there's duds this is a dud for me for me it is the wet and wilds illuminating palette okay this is basically the blush and it has five different colors it's really what i like so you could do i could do a light pink i could do a dark pink i could do an in between i could do like a almost gold looking pink or like pastel looking pink you know it does not work <laughs> now do not get me started black women can wear any sort of makeup like any other girl as long as it's catered to us I realize this is not a universal product. This is more of a fair skin product. That's perfectly fine. My best friend is Caucasian. You know, it would probably work way better on her skin tone than it would on mine, to be honest. Okay? So, um, this was a dud. And another reason why it's a dud, not even because of race or anything, another reason why this is a dud is because it's so cheap that if I were to drop this on in an angle, basically, in any sort of angle, or even this way, or an angle, from like this far, I would say, it would just crack. Now, if I drop it from here on my hand, I didn't even drop it all the way, I'm still concerned. <laughs> if I were to drop it on the floor, even carpet, it will still start to a little crack up. But if I drop it on some hard floor, pff, this is over with. Um, I still keep it because, I mean, it's a dollar for some reason. I don't like throwing away stuff when it's still kind of, like, new. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I need to stop with that. <laughs> I will, but another, but I am curious about something. I want to wait until I actually just crack it 
because I did have another one of these that was really cheap that was a dud and it's gone but it was just the bronzer so it didn't really matter I tried to somewhat save it but it didn't work out it didn't even have a mirror with it so I really there was no reason to keep it at all like there's no after like oh it's a cute mirror it was just plastic like this you know um I'm waiting since this is multiple colors it's five for this to kind of crack and fall apart and I'm waiting to kind of see what like an ombre color would look like between these five so I am looking forward I know that sounds bad in a way to see that maybe see if that will make a difference because like like two of them would really work I would use this one on the end um this one on the end it's almost like a peach color i know i don't have the world's best camera quality yet but it's like a peach color um that one was kind of decent and the really 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 light pink was decent as almost uh, like a highlight but being that it was so runny and so kind of thin grained i guess it like it was a nice looking highlight color like it had potential like this pink right here was like this but this is much better. Elf is much better at it. It's almost a creamy. It's more of a little thicker green in a way. So that's basically what this one reminded me of. But this is worse. I'm sorry, but it's worse. Um, I probably cracked it just doing that. So I'm gonna put it down. <laughs> um, I want to see, but not quite this soon. Um, another thing is, excuse me, whenever you finish your makeup look. This is one of my favorite things is the natural finish. This is a setting spray, Wet n Wild brand, Wet n Wild. And another thing I want to show you before I say this, I just realized when I was looking at my products over here, looking at how dirty this is, even I'm kind of like, dang, how did I let it get like this? But y'all don't hate me. Look, and deep, oh, you probably can't see it. Oh, I'm a point to it. It There's a little bunny and it says it's cruelty free, which is actually really a blessing. I like that. I like that a lot. It's cute that they did that. I think that's one thing that helps with that. Um, another Wet n Wild. Me, I'm Wet n Wild crazy. The only thing I would not use Wet n Wild again is their bronzer. And I wouldn't use their foundations because I don't know. That just, you, foundations, you just have to spend a little bit more money. Foundations, you just have to. Concealers, even, you can be pretty cheap foundations you have to you do not want to be brown skin and you have like pale on your like here in your pale and then you see your beautiful brown skin like no you have to spend a little bit more change for foundation you just have to so this is this finishing spray I used to feel like like a little princess putting this on I used to be like this it's like Really, they say all you need is one spray. To be honest, I use three. You know how every product ever tells you to like, it feels like to use like a minimum, like use one drop, use one spray, use one little dabble. You know how we do, everyone does. They just use more. I cracked the plastic. I'm kind of sad about that, but it's wet and wild bread. I can buy another one. It'll be all right. And it still works. So <laughs> just wait till it's gone. Um, now my favorite part of the makeups are oh and i forgot to tell you let me show you my um makeup wipes that i use all right i really like them they're orange scented orange is my favorite scent like citrus is my favorite scent except for pineapple because i'm allergic to pineapples but the other scents um i'm not severely allergic to pineapples too i'm not like to the point that i can't even smell them but i can't eat them like and they cannot go on my mouth my mouth will just my tongue will swell up and my mouth will bleed it's weird forgive me for that but it's honesty um let's see this is the brand i got it from ross you know how ross sells like a little bit of everything marshall does it too tj maxx all that yeah um yeah this is that brand it is um global beauty care this is orange the day when i got this they had orange and they had um lavender orange is orange one i'm sorry orange just one my best friend would have probably got lavender but i i'm orange y'all so yeah um orange and then let's see let's see let's see recently when i went to ross though i seen a what is it called what did i get what did i see there 
when it comes to the makeup wipes. Oh, I seen coconut. I will get coconut next. I'm considering getting coconut next. If they don't have orange again, I'll get coconut next. Or I may get both. They were only $3. <laughs> Probably, maybe I'll just get both. <laughs> I'm still going to call it splurging. Don't worry, spirit about it. <laughs> um... Yeah, so that's basically it for the makeup products, except for one last segment. Let me tell you about lipstick. Lipstick, y'all, fun fact about me. Lipstick probably is my favorite part of the makeup. If you do a bold lip, honestly, and you do a little highlight and then keep your eyebrows straight, you're good. Even I've done days with just mascara and a lipstick. I've done days with just eyebrows and the lipstick. I've done days, you know, all of them, I think, in the combinations. Some days I don't feel like doing the full face primer. I don't feel like doing the the foundation concealer. Da, da, da. I don't feel like it. That's the reason I haven't even done baking yet. Well, lipstick is my favorite. So I have brands like Revlon. And then I have my chapstick I like to use. Especially when you do a heavy matte or something. Definitely use chapstick before, under. That's what I would do. So I have Revlon. I have LA Colors. I have L'Oreal. You know, um, Revlon. L'Oreal. Broadway, um, LAC, Mil Milani, Milani's good, Milani smells really nice, and Broadway smells really nice, Milani is kind of high end in comparison to any of them, but Milani was on sale, L'Oreal's pretty high too, but Milani's probably the highest I think, but it was on sale, so I was like, ooh, and it's the color range I wanted, basically I have, this is the matte one, and this is Bobbi Brown. Let me show you this real quick. Bobbi Brown is, um, this one is chocolate cherry. This one is probably, um, this one is not matte. Right now, I'm telling you right now, it's not matte. But I like it because I like the color. I'm going with both. I have friends who are dead heart, like, dead set on, like, excuse me, dead set on um, only matte. I'm for both, honestly, if it goes on nice. Um, this is pretty good. Uh, yeah. So, it says you can use it, it says, um, Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks. I don't guess you can use it for cheeks also. <laughs> um, it's pretty nice. Oh, another thing I do want to say about it, because I kept on staring at it, and I knew it was something I wanted to say. Another thing about this, this Bobbi Brown right here, um, this is the same brand that I usually get the foundation in. So I do get kind of high when it comes to the foundation. It's not high like to the sky. Like there's this one brand I really want to try called um, Mars for foundation. I want to try it so much. And I see it. And that's like the one really huge exceptional thing I wanted to try. But um, I chose not to because I don't know. I was like, eh. I was like, yeah. I was like, okay. It's really expensive. It's really, really expensive. And it's pretty, but it's kind of like in a glass bottle. And I get kind of anxious when it comes to glass for some reason. I don't know why, but every once in a while, especially when glass is placed in a high place, I don't like that. I really don't. So, like, if I drop this and I hear cracks or something gets put in and I put on the counter drops, I'm not going to like it. So, <laughs> yeah. Basically, that's it for the makeups. Um, you know how we all went through that brown phase and all of a sudden everyone does not like brown? This one is spice. This one's kind of a cinnamon color brown. I would show you all of them, but I mean, I don't feel like it. It's I got maroons. I got reds. I got a pink lip gloss that goes with the lip liner. See the pink lip gloss and the lip liner? It's like that. Um, honestly, yeah, so that's basically it. This is my concealer stick I meant to tell you some days. I'm not a big foundation person, like, whenever it comes to me, actually. When I put it on, I don't want the absolute most full coverage. Personally, I believe I do not need it. So, um, and I don't want anything heavy. So, I kind of do this. I'll use a contour stick. Do maybe under my eyes if they're acting up or I think they're acting up above the lid a little bit, like, slight little spots like there. And I just blend it in real nice. And then I call it a day I start putting on my other stuff after the primer so that's basically it with all of that i showed you my big bag my little bag a little story about that a little bit of how i do pricing um showed you everything you know so basically that's it for my makeup so 
tell me about any thoughts or opinions, you know, about these makeup brands, have you used them or how you would rate them. And let's just continue on with these positive and honest, honest videos, you know, of what we believe is honest. So I want to say goodbye. God bless you all in Jesus Christ's name and take care. And I love y'all all. Take care.